Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Paul Mass video, and today let's check out some like the new free units that they added to this game with this um, new mode called uh, Damage Challenge, which is pretty much it's in the name. It's you know it's a challenge to do more damage, right? So just uh, um, I, I I did a quick uh, read. I didn't try it yet. We'll uh, maybe try it tomorrow, and um, basically what it is, it's like. Uh, you know, you got 180, uh, 180 seconds in the battle, and just do as much damage as, as you can, right? Just, uh, you know, see how much damage you deal, and then that would uh, be converted into these points, and these points, which every 10,000 points you get, you get one of these uh, tickets. There's nothing else in here. It's all, it's just these tickets, right? All the way up to like a million points, and then after that, it's every 50,000 points gets you a ticket, and those tickets can be used to exchange for co-ops and corps. To be fair, it's like 10,000 co-ops and corps, which is a lot, but no, no, uh, people are mainly going to be <laughs> using them to exchange for these, uh, these units down here, right? Free units, um, I think they're mostly, if not all, like, um, field slash, uh, sprint units, which is really, really neat. So that's cool, you know, free, uh, sprint field units, and they're all rivals, by the way, right? Got Marnie, Gladian, Hugh, Wally, and, and, and Mona over here. Um, so yeah, this is a, like a rival themed challenge thing. Uh, so as you can see, like it's like one ticket per every 10,000 points. Uh, again, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know like what the conversion rate is. Um, but if that does seem daunting, on the bright side, if you do check out this um, menu, it does say like there's no time uh, period set for this exchange. And this event does end on the first. So I'm assuming this is like a thing that resets every month. And the other thing is like the tickets. They don't have oh training ticket. It's not called training ticket A, training ticket B, or whatever. It's just it's just it's just called training ticket. So I'm assuming every month it resets your points and then you could just earn more tickets again. Right? So yeah. Um it's and and, and again these ex this exchange I'm assuming should be always here. Because again, it's, there's no time period, there's no end date to this, uh, or at least no time period set yet for these um, for these exchanges to to go away. So that's that's my assumption, right? So, anyways, um, yeah, again, we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll try the event uh, in in another video. This uh, this video, I'm just gonna go over and uh, check out these units because um, that's that's. I want to know. So, <laughs> all right, uh, let's go by Jen. Let's start with the uh, Gladian, or not Gladian. Um, I guess Wally would be the earliest one over here, right? Let's check out Wally details. No, we need to click that. And um, let's see the map max level over here, max potential. Wow, these are some really good stats. Cause this is not, uh, this is just level 150, 6 EX. This is not even, uh, this is not even with, uh, EX rolls, right? So, damn, these stats are crazy. <laughs> 408 speed, almost 800 HP, almost 500 attack, special attack, and, you know, 220 defense, 238 special defense. Those are some really, really, really good stats. <laughs> it's not a single, like, bad stat on this unit. What the heck? What's going on? All right, so uh, this this one's a sprint unit, and um, let's see, you got Dragon Claw, Dragon Breath, Die Hit Plus. Please watch me as a trainer move. Uh, reduces user sync move counted by one, raises user's attack and special attack by uh, four stat rank, so it easily maxes out its own, uh, you know. Uh, well, I won't say easily because uh, it's only plus four over here, and you have to use like Die Hit like. Two, two times, uh, obviously, unless your support does it for you, but, um, outside of that, you got Head Start, Hostile Environment 3, Paralyzed Opponents, Defense, Special Defense, uh, okay, so, every time you, uh, attack a Paralyzed Opponent, you debuff their defenses by one, both defenses, and again, you do have Dragon Breath to Paralyze with the Hostile Environment 3, right, so, yeah, that should be really easy to do, um, it doesn't have any, like, obviously, Dragon Claw, Dragon Breath are not, like, really big damage healing moves, let's see, uh, it does have an innate um, multiplier in its sync, so you know those uh, very high attack stats are not going to go to waste over here. <laughs> uh, let's see, is it physical or special? It's uh, it's physical, okay. And then um, physical dragon, uh, I guess. Yeah, that's that's, that's neat. And then um, 
you got your your, your sprinty axe um, effect over there, obviously. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in the grid. All right, so there's a Darhead MPR, Fleet Feet 1, uh, Paralysis Energy 5, Trip Up 9, Unflappable, Natural Remedy, Process Entry. Okay, Dragon Claw Overwhelm. Uh, move Gate Refresh on that. Satisfied Snicker on Dragon Breath. Um, NPR on Trainer Move. Slippery 1 on Trainer Move. Healthy Healing. Relentless. Okay. And um, Rejuvenate 6. Quick Cure. Um, this thing is. It's gonna sink hard. Definitely gonna sync hard with the very, very high base stats, the innate sync, right? Multiplier, uh, at least for for like a sprint unit, right? You got relentless over here as well. You debuff the opponent's defenses. Uh, the regular move damage is not gonna be that much, because <laughs> again, it's it's dragon breath and dragon claw. Like, yeah, then you got like prowess energy for that five, I guess. That's, I think that's it. <laughs> or at least you know, in terms of uh, anything relevant. Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's just right a bit. Okay, well. Um, it's a big stat stick, right? A lot of different things you could do with it, this unit, it seems. Uh, outside of the move, um, the same move countdown stuff, as usual these, uh, <laughs> sprint units do. You got that big, uh, dragon sink, you got paralysis, you got a lot of debuffs, right? Um, you could honestly use it to tank <laughs> in some stages that don't hit super hard, I guess, right? Uh, it doesn't have any, uh, defense buffs, but, um... Just the base. There's a lot of base stats there. If, if someone else could buff its defenses, you know, you got stuff like Quick Cure over here. You got the health, healthy healing, the evasion buffs, the attack, special attack debuffs. All right. So, um, yep. There's that. And then, okay. Well, let's uh, let's see what else we got over here. Um, I guess next next one would be a uh, U. And um, let's check the unit out here. Um, same, up to here, EX, uh, wow, again, really high stats, right, high speed, high HP, um, high special attack, decently, you know, good defenses, and, uh, let's see, uh, another sprint unit, um, yeah, you got Hurricane, o okay, uh, Growl, X special attack, and then sync of countdown minus one, action crit plus two on your trainer move. You got head start, status move, debuffs the opponent's um, special attack, right? Uh, elite, uh, AoE, speed leech nine. Uh, lowers the, you know, leeches the opponent's speed, right? Uh, this one's attack move. So, yeah, a lot of debuffs here as well, right? A lot of debuffs. Um, AoE attack debuff, um, and, and special attack debuff, right? Speed debuffs. Uh, this is a speed, positive speed based, um, innate sync move multiplier. And then let's see what we got in the grid. We got, uh, unbending, status move, stat plus four, uh, 3% chance of raising one of the user's random stats. Uh, when you use a status move, okay. Natural Remedy, Haste, Power Posture, um, Growl, MGR9, which is nice. Uh, Sharp Entry 1, Hurricane MGR, Mind Games 4 on Hurricane, Head and Heal on the Trainer Move, Brain Gain 9 on the Trainer Move. Wait, how many uses? I think Trainer Move was 1, right? MPR 2, Quick Cure on Floppable. Dauntless, um, Barricade 1 on X Special Attack, Rejuvenate 6, Pecking or Order. So yeah, uh, another unit where, um, it's kind of like Wally, right? In, in a sense, um, again, nukes pretty hard, right? Um, at least should. For a sprint unit, got the, um, got the speed stuff, sync move countdown stuff. Well, maybe not so much of the speed stuff. I mean, not that it's going to be bad or whatever. Um, it just takes a while to max it out. And uh, got the debuffs, except uh, I guess they exchange like the status stuff. 
and uh, well, I guess just making the status up for like more damage in Hurricane, which is probably better. <laughs> so, uh, that's nice. Uh, I guess it also debuffs less than Wally, right? Just uh, you know, swapping a lot of utility out for well, not a Totten, but you know, swapping out utility out for for damage over here with the uh, Hugh and Unpheasant. All right, um, let's see what else we got now. All right, next up we got the Gladian and Weavile over here, and uh, let's see. This one is a field unit. This one's uh, this one's a field unit, except uh, it's it's not showing up. Up oh, there we go. All right, field unit. Um, it's ice type, so it's gonna be setting ice zone on on the sink, which is nice, right? Let's see. Uh, HP again, a lot, very similar stats I'd say um, with these units. A, a lot of like everything in each stat. Got mini potion all. Uh, allies defense, special defense plus two, gradual healing, then ally, triple axle, and then icy wind. So you got both um, physical and special options over here. Neither of them are great moves, unfortunately, but you know, is what it is. I got Arctic arrival. Um, all right, so it, we've got ice zone on entry, and then heals your team uh, in ice zone. Unfortunate strike four. So this is more like a defensive field unit, right? Not that like, you know, base uh, 450 <laughs> attack and uh, well, it's not, yeah, just that you know, 6 RDX 150 um, and then like 430 special attack. Not that that's like nothing, but uh, and you know, like again, tri triple axle icy wind. They're not like the best damage healing moves, but they're not like, they're not. They're not like Dragon Claw and Dragon Breath, at least, I guess. Uh, what else we got? Um, all right, in the grid, quick tempo, chase down five, uh, quick cure. Wait, does it have any speed debuffs? Oh, uh, icy one, yeah. <laughs> uh, natural Remedy, Headstrong, Unfortunate Strike Four, another one. Slow Opponent Sing Five, still lo love this name. Um, Fainting Heal? Just for you things. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Uh, friendly. Sh uh, oh, um, friendly shield one. Uh, that should be the just barrier one. Uh, no. Uh, okay. This is what. Okay. Why is this called friendly shield one, and then this one is is just special defense up one. <laughs> That's. That's okay. All right, MPR three on the trainer move, unflappable. That irks me a lot, man. That 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 annoys me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What the heck? Anyways, uh, move gauge, um, accel uh, acceleration and um, ice. So not, but you know, charges faster. Not not the actual field effect. Um, master healer on the mini potions. Um, all right. Did did I not see a single? Offensive buff or like multiplier. Oh no no no! There's there's chase chase down five and uh, slow opponent sink. Yeah, there's no offensive buffs. Well, um, <laughs> can it do some damage? Yeah, it's it's mainly here for ice zone, I guess. Uh, there's one on entry and then one after your uh, first ex sink. So two ice zones, and it gives you some speed, I guess. Kind of debuffs your opponents, gives some defenses to your tank, or itself, because you know it has a lot of HP and defense. Well, not huge amount of defenses, but you know. Oh, uh, okay. It's just a bit of a needy unit, though. It's it's a bit needy. Yeah, yeah. Not a single offensive buff is 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 slightly rough. Um, so maybe you wanna. Let's see, the sync move, is it physical or special? It's physical. Yeah, maybe you want to like roll like a fierce entry two on this thing <laughs> for lucky skill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah, if, if, if you have the, you know, if you have someone to buff his offenses, it shouldn't be bad, right? It shouldn't be bad, but again, nothing, nothing super crazy here either. Um, okay, so, What's next? 
All right, all right, Marnie and Scrafty over here. So this one is another field unit, so Dark Zone Setter for free, I guess, right? Um, this one is not over 400 speed. It's only uh, five or 365, uh, which is still pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, uh, HP-wise, again, the stats are pretty similar. This is damn near 500 special attack. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks like it... Uh, it got both the dark and fighting coverage with the crunch and focus blast mini potions all again all right and this one is a uh, plus two attack special attack and plus one crit and you get two uses that's actually pretty nice it's actually pretty nice um yeah that's 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 a pretty good uh, trainer move there damn and then let's see passives debut dark zone yeah same as uh i guess silver or not silver but <laughs> <laughs> it's a wee bile, there's lots of silver. Uh, Gladian, right? Got honor roll nine, and then trip up nine. So that's uh, debuffing uh, physical defense and uh, special defense. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good so far. I, I like what I'm seeing here. Let's check out the grid. Oh, wait, is there anything else on the sink? No, no, no. All right. Um, let's see. We got a master healer, MPR. Move gauge refresh, NPR, pinpoint entry, natural remedy, defense crush four. So you know, fifty percent chance of uh, getting a um, you know minus minus two defense on uh, with crunch. Sharp entry one, quick cure, natural remedy, unflappable, focus blast, MGR, slow opponent sink five. Another one, okay. Focus blast, mind games four. Um, Umbral Acceleration 2, okay, Umbral Power 3, Terrify 1, Umbral Healing 1. Uh, honestly, this is my favorite one so far, um, in terms of kit-wise. This is, a uh, this is pretty nice, this is pretty nice, right? You have a unit that does pretty good damage, right? Just very, very high base stats, uh, has both physical and special coverage has a decent enough trainer move to help you know max out our own offensive stats and either one the physical one debuffs opponents physical defense the special one debuffs opponents special defense gives you dark zone right again also twice one on debut one on sync uh, obviously focus blast is not um directly helped with the dark zone although there's like umbral power right so this is um yeah and it compensates a bit right as you can see in the base stats the special attack stat is a bit higher than the physical attack stat so this is a neat unit this is a neat one okay so all right uh nimona and lycanroc over here this one is a field unit right again good stats all around i think this one has the highest hp so far that we've seen right and uh you know pretty good uh attack stat as well let's see so we got stealth rock a stone edge a cellar rock very uh uncreative lichen rock <laughs> move uh move kid over here uh, and then clinch the win move gauge several uh, acceleration the ally field of play raises and attacks uh, uh or the allies attack by two raises an allies crit by one Okay, so field, uh, this is a setting rock zone, right? Debut rock zone, just like the other two. Um, acceleration in rock zone. Armor leech, nine. Physical defense leech. And then in the grid, oh, I keep forgetting to check the sink. Yep, yep, no additional effects on the sink. It's usually, again, it's usually sprint that have these. More than field. Um, let's see. Move refresh, stealth rock, quick cure. Brawn gain 9 on Stealth Rock. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, no, it's Stealth Rock, not... No, okay, it's not, it's not that nice then now. <laughs> that was Stone Edge for a second. Uh, debut, damage reduction, physical... Um, rock, damage field, power up 3, 30%. You know, the Stealth Rock thing in play. Sharp Entry 1. Uh, move Gauge Refresh 3, Stone Edge. A cell Rock MPR 2, Cell Rock Staggering 3, 40% chance to flinch with Cell Rock. Um, PR2, Clinch the Win, NPR Refresh, Overwhelm 9, Lithic Healing, Natural Remedy, Rock Zone, Sync Move Up 50%, First Aid 4. Um, I mean, 
mean, it's all right. It's all right, right? You got the uh, flinch aspect with the uh, Asylum Rock. The gauges are, should be pretty good, right? A zero gauge move with a really good speed, base speed. Uh, you got those physical defense debuffs and, you know, rock types, like 90% of them are physical. So, you know, run that also sets rock zone for them, obviously. Um, Stone Edge is not a super powerful move, right? But uh, you still have the good base physical attack at least. Got some other like support stuff, right? You got move gauge acceleration. Um, the, again, the trainer move is good enough. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of it for this. Uh, this yeah, uh, none, none of these units are like super crazy. Uh, none of them are like incredibly unique. They're all pretty similar in terms of like how they operate, right? Um, yeah, yeah, it kind of gives you a. Uh, um, I do, I, I do feel like they, at least, at least at a glance, right? Without using them yet or, or checking out any calcs or whatever, at a glance they do seem better than Lodge or BP units, uh, or at least most of them. Um, yeah. Uh, I feel like Wally may be a bit weaker of these, and um, yeah, Hugh is cool, I guess. I mean, they're all they're all decent, right? Uh, at least like for the field ones, you get like free zone setters, so there's that. Uh, the sprint ones, pro I'd probably have to try them out <laughs> to to say for certain. But uh, anyways, well, they're free, so, you know, it's, uh, can't ask for anything too crazy, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, that's me in this one, I guess. I uh, hope you all enjoyed them. Guys, think the comments down below, like the videos for our channel, some more promise content. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try this, uh, mode out soon. So, see you guys in the next one.